<laughs> Sean and Don here. Happy Friday, love. It is not Friday, yeah, nor it is. is alive. It's almost <laughs> Friday, though. I mean, we're there. Fun discussion today. Um, yes. Hopefully, we're fairly quick, and you'll notice a little few extra things on this video. We so you're you're going to want to watch this video because <laughs> there are a lot of different things going to happen. You'll see a lot of this happening in some of our other videos as we go. Mm -hmm. So today discussion um one you get quite often is how much protein do i need to eat how much what's That's the average amount of protein right i'm um, going to give you a little bit of a challenge update our our uh, Next challenge challenges mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about the fourth of july schedule our feature product right now you're not going to miss especially if you haven't been to the gym um you're you're going to want to watch this portion here um our celebrated um, athletes birthdays are there this week and yep. uh, and that's about it for today so yep. first off um how much protein do we need right about protein so yeah first so off, common what, question that what, i get asked quite a bit little background mm -hmm. there's three primary macronutrients that we work with protein carbs typically a meat source carbohydrates you know bread fruits there's different types of carbohydrates out there and fats, right? Mm -hmm. um, those are the main things. Yeah, so M most important when we talk about macronutrients, protein. just like Sean's saying, we say macros is what most people call them, but a lot of people don't even understand um, when we start out what macronutrients are and what what's an appropriate amount. Most people have no idea, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. So, um, protein, most important, non-negotiable macro, um, and that is protein source. So for a variety of reasons um, based on your goals but I I work primarily with females most of my clients are females I have a couple guys that I work with but for the most part women say they want to be toned mm -hmm. or they want to have less cellulite or they want to see their muscles all of that um, the only way or the the most effective and the quickest way to see those changes and those results is by hitting your protein and mm -hmm. eating more protein. Um, most people, like I said, don't have any idea where they're even at with protein. And so non-negotiables when we work together is that you have to track. So you have to track your macros for a period of time so that you have some knowledge of what you're putting in your body and what those uh, amounts might be. So my issue with intuitive eating is how can you do something intuitively that you don't even know where you're starting. So um, you need the education first before you can become intuitive and in eater. Hence why so, we track in the beginning and then we stop tracking. Yeah. Once you know, yeah. then, then So you most people, if you ask them how much protein did you eat today, they'd be like, um, well, I had some chicken and then I ate a burger for dinner. And so they know what protein is, maybe not all of their best options. Um, but they have no idea the value of like, you know, three ounces of chicken. So, um, so anyway, protein is the one thing that we always hammer home in every, um, session with someone, any check-in that I do with them. Yes. My first question is always, what was your protein this week? What was your protein average? So what is so, the goal? Um, so there's a formula that, that most people, most nutrition coaches use, use when, figuring out the right amount for people. So men can typically have a little bit more, but usually a good rule of thumb is one gram of protein per one pound of body weight. Ideal it body can, weight. Right, ideal body weight. Yeah. It can be a little less, it can be a little more. You can actually go as high as like 1.7 or 1.6, something like that. So maybe more elite athlete or someone who is um, lifting a lot of weight um, on a regular basis might need more might need, need a little bit more but for most people a gram is fine um, it can even be a little under that so for women maybe they don't do any weightlifting or any resistance training but they do yoga and walk you know their protein requirement wouldn't necessarily be as high so they could be on the lower end of that which is maybe you know 0.75 of um, so a gram. so just really quick here Two things. Mm -hmm. um, when we say ideal body weight, so if you happen to be 225 pounds, but your ideal body weight is 180, um, and and you don't always know that, we can find that out. We can right. tell you that. Well, and I don't ever get hung up on that. Like, you know, what's your ideal body weight? Most people don't know, and if they 
they do throw out a number. It's like you know what they weighed in high school. I, I get that, but I'm talking to <laughs> so, clients. Yeah. I'm talking to the clients that are going to watch our video and try to go do this on yeah. their own. So it's kind you of a guessing know. game, but yeah. usually um, we can look at you yeah. and know where you should. I be. tell people um, kind of choose what you would like to weigh. If you could choose a number, what would that? What would you like that to be in a perfect world? Whether or not we ever get there, but that's usually a starting point as far as um, just letting them establish what feels good too. Yeah. So. Super important, macronutrient, number one priority, protein. One gram per one pound of body weight. So if you're watching this and you're like, I don't know how much protein I eat, jump on my fitness pal, it's a free app, just get the free version and start tracking maybe just your protein because you're curious. Yep. So some other sources would be like Greek yogurts or, or cheese or dairy. Or you can some... look in our cafe and get Driven Way, right? Mm -hmm. Look up there. There it is. The Driven A lot Way. of people are going to have to suppl supplement. Most people do when they start looking it at how much protein easier. they need. <laughs> so find a clean brand that you like. Come check out ours. It's really clean. Um, it's at an affordable price point and it tastes good. So yeah, And it mixes really well. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So... And if yeah. you're interested in any type of nutrition things, you can reach out to reach us. out to us. If you're not sure how to reach out to us, follow to the end of this video, and I have a little tutorial on how you reach out to us there. Mm -hmm. Our challenge update. So the month got away from us. We usually do a monthly challenge, um, and we just couldn't get enough. Um, and each coach picks a challenge here, and, mm -hmm. and we couldn't coordinate the, our efforts with this particular coach to get the challenge formatted in a, a way that would allow our athletes to have enough time to say, yeah, I want to do it. No, I don't want to do it and right. give enough information. And so we're moving you... the challenge to August. August 1st. August 1st, right? Just a lot going on there. And so um, just moved to August 1st. This weekend is the 4th of July 4th weekend. July. Big holiday. And so on Monday. It's on a Sunday this week. Yeah. On this Monday, um, we just have no early morning classes, 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Um, and just keep in mind that we've done this for many years. If you're in my class and you're like, oh, you never show up. <laughs> Everyone's like, I'll be there. And you're like, you don't. Um, and I get it, right? You're out having fun and, and as you should be. Also, if you haven't checked out our 4th of July shirts, right? Take a look over there. You'll see them. Um, they are pretty cool. They were pre-ordered. They're ready for pickup if you haven't done it already. Mm -hmm. So feature products. Um, is a special class that we have called Storm King Pulse. Um, it is a really fun cardio focused class. 100% cardio. That moves from, and, and you, right now you're seeing a little side video next to us, it moves from the ski erg to the rower to the, the bike. bike and it's loud really fun music boom 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 and we have different resistant levels and your coach is moving you through and telling you what your intensity should feel like and i mean quite frankly you can push as hard as you want right mm -hmm. but there the, the actual hour is designed with a certain intensity level and a certain outcome so it's programmed like everything else we do mm -hmm. um and so if you're interested in that class and you haven't tried it out please like um if it's part of your membership do it if your brand if you're a new member and you have a max membership, it's already included in it. Go do it. It is a fun, fun, fun class. It's a very different format. Do. So it's a really nice option to layer in between your, maybe your weightlifting or some of the other sessions. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing to point out with Pulse class, some people, when we, as soon as you say cardio, they think long endurance type effort. No. So just so you know, you're only on each device, like one to four minutes. So they're really fast interval bursts. As they go. So you don't get burned out. Um, with that one device because you're just on it for a couple mm -hmm. minutes and then you're moving to the next resistances are changing um tempos are changing all that so Good point. super super fun good point yeah um our uh, featured athletes this week we didn't have a featured athlete uh this week and only because we do a schedule on this and we missed this week <laughs> we had three already selected for uh um the next following week so and we pause said, on that and wait till next week and so know it, who's coming yeah just sorry um we already we have featured athletes lined up and we somehow we got a week off there and that's okay lots of birthdays though, lots of birthdays week. so yeah. Lori Wacker happy mm -hmm. birthday Mickey Riley, Riley Steve and Clara, Clara. Clara. Clara May. yeah happy birthday happy everyone. birthday and then lastly if you like our videos you need to go down to YouTube and subscribe to them and you'll actually get them and if you're interested in hearing anything about us um, or un and want to meet with us, if you can go to our website, you can kind of see how this looks here. You click stormkingathleticclub.com, 
you click on that free intro. There's a couple options there, one for our existing members and one for new members there. Pick a time and off you go. Yes. So with that we'll schedule coming up. Have a safe, safe fourth of July. Happy uh, Fourth of July. Happy oh, along those lines, the cafe is open on the fourth of July. It's open. Yeah. So if you're downtown doing activities or out and about, go get your breakfast there, have your mimosa, whatever it might be. Enjoy the day. It sounds like it's going to be nice. Sounds like. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one. Happy have a great fourth. weekend. Bye.